Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and today's video is going to be another bullet journal video. Today's video we are going to be taking a look at what happened during the month of April in my bullet journal and what I am doing during the month of May. I'm really excited for the month of May because there's lots of readathons happening this month so I am going to play around with some spreads this month. So let's go ahead and get started first with what I did in the month of April. As you guys saw from my last bullet journal video, I did a flower theme for the month of April and I really really liked how the spread came out. It's very flowery, very bright, and very colorful and I really really liked how it came out. So the quote that I used for the month of April was she believed she could so she did. Turning the page, this is always my calendar page. I always put my YouTube growth tracker on the left and then I use the calendar to keep track of the videos that I post during the month. And then turning this page, this is my TBR, my page tracker. And as you can see, I did miss some days where I didn't read, but I did manage to have a pretty good reading month. As you can see, I had a regular TBR. I did do the stay home reading rush, and I did also read my book club books. So I actually finished all of the books that I meant to read during the month of April. And I just like how this entire spread looks like. It's just so bright and colorful, and I'm, I'm just in love with this whole spread. Turning the page, on the left is my books read and on my right is my book ratings. I always like to create a stack of books where I write the title of the page just to keep track of all the books that I read. I did read a total of seven books during the month of April so there's seven books stacked. And then on the right is my book ratings and um, as I mentioned on my previous bullet journal videos my printer currently doesn't have ink. I am getting some this month finally so I will be able to print out the covers of the books that I read and as you can see I do give them star ratings and then turning the page I did buy some books. Even if I buy one or two books, I always try to keep track of the books that I purchase. And then on the right, I wanted to create a different spread for the stay at home reading rush, but this is what I came out with. I don't like it just because it, everything else is so colorful and then this is black and white, but whatever. I did write down the reading challenges, but I don't know what else to do with this spread, so I ended up just leaving it like that. So we're gonna turn and we're gonna take a look at my May spread now. And here is what it is. So I got this idea from Chloe from Journal with Chloe or as she's better known as Books with Chloe. This is the first time I ever ripped up a book so I felt like it was a little bit taboo but it kind of felt good to do it in a way and it was a book that I read and I didn't really enjoy it so I didn't feel bad about ripping it up. So on the right I didn't really like how this came out but I'm okay with it so I'm just gonna leave it as is and on the left we do have our monthly quote and the quote that I used this month is we lose ourselves in books we find ourselves there too. Turning the page I have my calendar I already posted a video this month which was my owl crate unboxing for the month of April then turning the page I already wrote down my TBR I still haven't decided my read rama TBR yet so there's nothing there and again I am filming this video late so I already marked the pages that I read and so far I'm having a pretty good reading month where I'm reading every day I say I'm pretty proud of myself so far and this month is Asian readathon so most so the books that I am reading are from Asian authors or books with Asian main characters. The only book on my TBR this month that is not part of the Asian readathon is the book club book which is The Betrothed by Kira Kass. And then turning the page, nothing's happened so far. I did finish one book so I do have to write it down here and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And the book that I finished was Empress of All Seasons by Emiko Jean. And I'm excited for this month because I'll finally be able to get some printer ink and I'll be able to print out the covers of the books and my book ratings page will be nice and colorful and not incomplete like it's been so far. And then there's nothing on this page but I will be creating a spread for Readorama. Readorama is doing a really cool theme this month where they're doing a rainbow theme so I want to get printer ink, colored printer ink for that specific reason. Their theme for this round of Readorama is read the rainbow and you have to read books. The color scheme of the book kind of fits within the colors of the rainbow and I think that's pretty cool so I am going to do a Readorama spread here. I don't know exactly what I want it to look like so that's why it's blank. Those are my plans for the month of May so far. 
And there you go guys, that was my bullet journal video for the month of May. You guys got to take a look what my April spread looked like completed and what I am doing for the month of May. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this theme with the ripped pages. I kind of like how it turned out. I don't, like I said, I don't particularly like this part, but everything else, I like how it came out. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All of my social medias are linked down below, including Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads if you'd like to follow me on those platforms. Hope to see you guys on my next video. Have a good day, guys, and keep reading. Bye!